Hi, and thank you for being an In It For Autism champion. I'm Britt, and I'm here to be your personal In It For Autism buddy to help you with everything event and fundraising related. I've put together this short video to help you get to know your fundraising page and make your first steps that little bit easier. When you registered, you would have received an email with a page link. This is the easiest way to get to your page. If you don't have your page link, go to everydayhero.com.au and you can click login in the top right hand corner. The login will be the same on your direct page link. What should come up is this login screen, which gives you a few different options to log in. This will depend on how you signed up, whether through Facebook, Map My Fitness, Strava, or with Fitbit. You can also log in and register with your email. To sign in, enter your details. If you forget your password, then you can click this forgot your password and enter in your email address and Everyday Hero will send you a reset email. So submit. Now, if you've signed up to Everyday Hero before, you may have more than one page and you'll be brought to this screen. If you've only ever sent up one page, you'll be sent directly to your fundraising page. If you do have multiple pages here, select the campaign that you're looking for by clicking on the title. This should then take you through to your fundraising page. It might look a little bit different from this, but essentially everything is in the same place. So I want to start off by showing you a general overview of the page. Of course, you have your banner, which will usually be event specific. You'll have a photo here in the top right, and you'll have an area that says my story. Everyday Hero will often give you suggestions on how you can improve your profile too. Down below, there'll be your post updates, and on the right here will be the charity you're fundraising for. In our case, of course, it's Autism Spectrum Australia. There will also be this top bar with your current goal, how much you've been given, and how much until you achieve that goal. The option to give now and to share your page. To edit your page, we want you to click edit this supporter page, which should be just under your profile picture. Once this page loads, you'll see there's lots of options for you to personalize your page. The first one is to uh, customize your goal. Uh, we really do suggest that if you're getting close to your goal to raise it, because a lot of your supporters will give more money if they believe that you have further to go. So that's a great way to get people more involved. You then have down here a section called My Story. This is where you can personalise your story. Sharing stories is, an import is important as it allows for your supporters to understand why fundraising is important to you. If you have a personal connection, know someone, or just think that people on the autism spectrum could do with a helping hand, let people know. People want to know why they should invest in you, and this is your space to show them. Down here, you'll see it says page photo and upload. Here, you can upload a per photo for your page to give it that personal touch. Select your photo from the screen, press open, and it will sit here. No matter what you do, always make sure you save changes, as this is what will update your page. So you can see here, your page has been updated. Now we want to go down. You might be participating with some friends or know some work colleagues and want to make a team for your workplace. And this is the place to do it. It's just under your edit supporter page that says create a team. Now you can click on here, create a team, in this case, Team Brit, create team. Once you've created your team, you'll come to this page where it says create team. Similar to your profile page, you can edit it and personalize it with a team photo and your story by clicking edit this supporter page. If you want to invite members, you can click here a little bit down the page on invite members and enter their email addresses directly. Or you can add page to team 
And this will let you enter your friends or family members' pages directly so they don't have to go and set it up. You can do it for them. So we'll just go back to our team page. And of course, your team members will be li listed here. If you want to disband your team for any reason, just click disband team here. And now you'll go back to your individual page. Now, say someone's already set up their team. Well, you can go and join it by clicking here, just underneath create a team, in join an existing team. Now, once you click that, you can simply search the team name that you want to join. So it may be Team Brit. Search. And it should come up here with your team name. So you can join. Going back to your page. To share your fundraising page is the next important step. We want to get the message out there. And the way to do it is with this blue share button on your top banner. Now, if you click that, you can see that there are a number of options. You can share through Twitter with a Twitter post, share on Facebook, Google+, share via email, which will let you just put in your friend's email address and enter a message if you'd like. Or there is a link down the bottom here which you can copy and send to people privately, include on posters or any other materials that you might hand out. Let's say we do a Facebook post. It will come up with the option to fill in your information. Uh, you can write a post just reiterating why you want to get involved and why you want to support people. And then all you have to do is click post to Facebook. If you want to update your training to let people know how you're going with either your steps, kilometers, if you're doing a bike ride, a swim, you can come down here under your story where it says post an update. If you click into post an update, you can either upload a photo or you can update your fitness. If you click fitness, you'll see it comes up with four different options, either walk, run, bike or swim, which you can opt into. So say I did a run, I want to say I did 10 kilometers today, so add in 10 kilometers, which you can change to steps, miles, meters, yards. If you want, you can add in a time and the date is pre-filled and all you have to do is click post. If you'd like to share this post on Facebook, click the F here, the Facebook symbol next to post and then click post. You'll then see that it will come up here with your activity so that all your followers can follow your progress as well. For any additional support, you can use the Need Help Chat With Us feature down here in the bottom right. This will put you through to Everyday Hero and they can help you with any questions. Alternatively, Alternatively, if you have any questions, please feel free to call or email us and we will endeavour to help you. You can call me personally on 02 8977 8110 or email me at initforautism@aspect.org.au. at aspect.org.au. Thank you so much for being in it for autism. I hope you have an amazing fundraising journey with us and I can't wait to speak to you soon. Happy fundraising!